Hey guys, Ben with Thinking Options Train here. Wanted to go over how I set up my VPS through high velocity. So after I purchased it, it took about two or three minutes to get it initiated, so really quick. So when you log in here, you'll have your all devices. So I'm just gonna click in here and you're gonna start out with device details. Up on the upper right here, you'll see that it's on right now and you'll have the option to power off the machine, restart the machine, reload, which is reloading the operating software. So if you wanna basically wipe your machine and start over, you can click that. And then console, which will open up a separate browser and it'll show you your machine as if you're looking there. So we'll actually start with console when we first open it up. And then you'll have your temporary login details. So when you open this up, you'll have either be able to copy this for your remote desktop program, or you have a .rdp connect file that you can download. So I'll download this for when we end up going into remote desktop. And then down here, you'll have your login. So you have administrator as your login. And then here is your passwords. So if you click this, then it'll it'll show your password. And this is just temporary and they recommend you change it as soon as you log in. First, let's start off by clicking console and it should open up in a separate browser. There it is. So over on the left hand side here, I'm going to make this full screen. I'm going to click the A. Down here is control alt delete. So I'll click that. And there's your password. So I'm just going to move this off screen and then I'm going to type in my password. BX. Hopefully this works. All right, cool. So first time logging in. So I'll just go through some of the things that I did and recommend. I am also not a computer whiz. I have no expertise in this. So this is what I did, whether or not it's the actual way of doing it, I don't know. So follow this guide at your own risk. So first thing I'm gonna do is make sure my machine is up to date. So I'm gonna go into settings and I'm going to scroll down to update and security. And I'm gonna click install now and that should download and install all of the security and update tools of Windows. We'll let that go in the background and go back. I am also going to create a separate sign-in because I don't want to sign in to the administrator every time. I want to sign in to a secondhand account that doesn't have administrator privileges so that if a program I'm using ends up being hacked and I, I end up having a hacker come on, then they're only on my secondary account instead of the administrator account. So I'm going to go to other users here and click add someone else to this PC and then double click users and I'm going to make a new one. I'm going to call it IOT, give it a password that I want. And since it's me using this login, I'm not going to make the user change it. And I'm just going to make it so the user can't change the password and that it doesn't expire. So I'm going to create that user. And now I'm going to go in and open up or start a remote desktop capabilities. So I'm going to go back into settings here. I'm going to go into system and scroll all the way down the left hand side to remote desktop. I'm going to turn this on so I can use the RDP software instead of this console through high velocity. And I'm going to turn on the other account. So down here, I'm going to use select users that can remotely access this PC. I'm going to click add and then I'm going to type in the username that I created and click check names to make sure that it's correct. And there it auto fixes it and click OK. Now I'll be able to remote into both my administrator and this secondary user account through RDP. And RDP is just the Microsoft uh, remote desktop software. Another thing that we'll end up doing for an added level of security is doing two-factor authentication for logging in. I'm going to use Duo security for that. I'll show you how to do that in a separate video. Now it wants me to restart. I'm going to wait on that because I want to make sure I have everything set up before I restart. I've had some issues with the admin account locking me out. So I'm actually going to go in and turn off the lockout feature. So I'm going to go down here and start typing group and then edit group policy in the control panel and computer configuration, windows settings, security settings, account policies, account lockout policy. I'm going to turn off. So I'm going to go zero click apply and click OK and now it won't be locked out. The reason Windows has the lockout is for hackers that are using brute force. So if someone can find your IP address and your user count and they know that you're using a VPS, hackers can just brute force where they just keep guessing passwords until they log in. So if you don't have two factor authentication, you want to have this lockout feature still on because you don't want hackers to get in obviously. Next, I'm going to change my password. So I'm going to go back into settings here under accounts, sign in options. Here's our password. I'm going to click change and I'm going to type in my current password and then I'm going to change the password. All right. So now I should have a new password. So I have my VPS set up with the minimum. I'm going to set up two factor authentication in the next video. 
So before I set up Duo Security, I'm actually gonna move over to the RDP so I don't have to work in this browser anymore. And it should make things a little simpler because when you're using RDP, you can actually copy paste from your local computer onto the remote computer. But when you're going through this console, you can't. So it'll make things a little bit easier with some copy and pasting some data strings. So I'm going to log out and go through how to do the RDP.